I'm going to take you through the question types in the Schoology assessment one at a time. The feature of this video is the multiple choice question. So I'm going to click on the multiple choice question. Sometimes Schoology is a little laggy, so be patient. Okay. I am going to say, what is Mrs. Jenkins' favorite color? That's going to be my multiple choice question. Blue, green, yellow, black. Okay. Now, if I only wanted there to be three opt-ins, that's easy enough to do. I just delete one of these options. If I only want there to be two options, easy enough. I delete those options. Um, I can add more options, so I can have there be as many options as I want, all right? That's just the beginning. Now I'm going to choose the correct answer. In case you wanted to know, the correct answer is green. Here, I could choose an alternate answer, okay? And in this case, I'm going to do that. I'm going to choose yellow, right? But I'm only going to give that 50%. I'm going to make it half credit. And the reason is this, yellow used to be my favorite color when I was a child, but it is no longer my favorite color. So it would be the answer to what was, not what is. So I'm gonna make it worth 50. I could make it worth 100%, but I'm not. Green would be worth 100%. Your first answer choice is always worth 100. Your alternate, you can choose the percentage. And if I wanted more alternate answers, I could add them. I like to do this shuffle the options that would mix up the choices when they're given to students. And uh, I, ho however, I do not do that if I'm uh, making it for my um, IEP and 504 students because I don't want it to be too confusing for um, the CT teacher. I can check this, which is multiple responses, meaning they can choose more than one answer, right? Scoring type, exact match or partial match? Do they need to get exactly what I've put here? Yes. In a multiple choice, typically you're going to put exact match. However, if you've chosen multiple responses, it's helpful to click partial match, meaning they'll get partial credit. Part is the right answer. All right? Layout is um, standard. This is usually, I don't really mess with this, but you can change the number of columns. You can make it appear in two columns or three columns instead of just as a list. I could add notes to myself or learning objectives if I want. And then I'm going to click save. If I preview this question, this is what the question will look like. 